Kava Spills Podcast Episode... Eight! Eight? <laughs> Damn, we're on eight already? Come by so quick. Who are we? Ames. Sloan. <laughs> and I'll be LB2 today. What's up, LB2? I'm chilling. How are we doing? How's everyone? Good. Uh, hanging. Visiting some new Kava bars. Oh, Getting yeah. this Kava Spills Kava tour all settled. We have our stops lined up. So this Kava tour, first of all, first of its kind. So luxury bus, hey buddy, luxury bus, Kava bar stops, we got some Kava on the bus, Kava on the bus. it's going to be a live stream at the same time, good music, we got an after party set up, so I mean, we only got what, eight, 19 tickets left, I well, believe? Well, they haven't been bought, and we're not holding any, we're going to be getting the bracelets in. Yeah. We're not holding them. We have them. So no so reserv- 25, and that's how many we have. All Once right. we get the bracelets, we will put something on Instagram saying when payment is due, how you have to pay, or you don't get a bracelet. Yeah, or oh, I'm pulling up. We can arrange <laughs> some stuff. Or oh, I'm pulling up. Um, make some convenient times to meet people. But, yeah, we. this isn't. You know, we do have to pay for the bus, and there's yeah. expenses that go along with it. So, but I um, think I think the price is good. I think it's gonna be it's phenomenal. I think the price is very good. It's so, gonna be a good time. So mark your calendars: May twentieth, Kava Spills Podcast Kava Tour. We've got about four Kava bars we're going to. Each Kava bar is going to have their own discount given to whoever bought a ticket. So. Definitely, your money's going to go a long way, so... And it'd be a good time for people who don't know what Kava is to check it out. If you, you hear us talking about the Kava community, you can get to experience that yourself. Uh, if you don't want to be on the bus, you can meet us at one of the several stops. Yeah. So there's a du- bunch of different... You know, we're going to have a meeting point you can meet at, an mm-hmm. uh, ending point. Then, uh, of course, the after party at Avatar that we just locked down today. So. Avatar. Kavatar. I said Avatar. Kavatar. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about Kavatar in a sec because they. I was I was blown away by my experience uh, there today. Um, before we get into it, how was everyone's week? Did I already ask that? Well, yeah, I just you know been working on the Kavatar. All right, but that's how we got on that. Visiting some Kava bars, hanging with my boy, cooking some dinners. Cook- you know, we went to a skateboard competition that was pretty cool. Ooh, that on was Saturday. dope. That was dope. Shout out to what? Where were we? That was downtown St. Pete. Um, it's near Jordan, Child's Park, right? Child's Park. Yeah, yeah, my buddy Zach hit me up and said, um, "My my days are just random. My schedule consists of whatever phone call comes through, and <laughs> you know." So at that point, my buddy shout out to Zach was like, "Yeah, I'm at a skateboarding competition across from my house." So Thought it would be a good idea to bring the camera, and it was it was pretty dope. We saw a fight. It was a rock band. We had Amy there in a Sunday dress, <laughs> so I was, I she was, was sticking out from work. So I had my professional sticking out like a sore thumb. That was funny. Saw a nice skateboard. Up swimming pool, like yeah. dirty swimming pool. <laughs> that's how she described it: a skate park. It's just like an empty, dirty swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it was cool. really it was really cool. We got some good footage. Um, was Grassroots there? Grassroots was there. So, Shout uh, out to the guys yeah, from which grassroots. I'm actually very pleased to see Kava at an event like yeah, that. Not awesome. to say that, you know, it should be alcohol there, but usually, you know, alcohol's there. So, to see Grassroots there and Kava there was really cool. And I think they were spon- I think they sponsored it. That's I'm awesome. not sure because I saw a bunch of their things, but we took a couple pictures with them. I think their name was Gravy. Don't and hate Tyler. me and Tyler. Gravy and Tyler. Shout out to Gravy and Tyler. Uh, gave us some good kava. Um, we're definitely going to be doing more with Grassroots later. And we have a special interview with someone from Grassroots that we will we'll reveal a little bit later. But definitely don't want to miss that. It's got a definitely heavy hitter on that. Sloan, how was your week? My week was great. You know, the normal every week thing that I say. Um... <laughs> Volleyball this week was very exciting. Oh, wow. Abby slayed the game like 100% really? won because of her. Really? She, She's yes. a baller, huh? She's 
Yes, literally. Okay. Yes. Shout out to Abby. Um, yeah. So I was, and it was very exciting, oh. and uh, it was their first win of the season, which is even cooler. So hold on, keep talking. Um. Also, I got to go to the chill room. Ah, the chill Finally. room. Finally. What did you think? I really liked it. It was chill. very chill. Yes. Um, chill. It's close to work, so, you know, it was awesome. I don't usually take a lunch break, but this particular day, I just needed a break. And you don't take a lunch? Are you one of the Americans that don't take their lunch break? Yeah. Man, you take a break? You got a break at work? Um, well, we don't. If there's a if break, you had it's a, only because there's no breaks. I mean, if you didn't own a business and you were just a regular folk like, you know, the rest of us, what would you do if you had a break? Would you take it or stay? And get out or leave early yeah. or come in later? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd rather come in later or leave earlier you know, because then I'd... I get more out of my time. So you're not hanging out? A break, out. you're just anticipating waiting to go back, you so know? You're yeah. Not, you're not hanging out in the break room, chilling, talking with your coworkers. Oh, my goodness. Okay. In the water cooler. Oh, Whoa, so <laughs> Moo Moo's having a blanket party, we call this. Yeah, you might want to move the plays by um, the burrow. There we so go. So I do have a little work story. I was in my back room the other day, and... Um, mm. I was heating up some quiche in the oven, hmm. oh, and yeah. all of a sudden, the the smoke detector went off, and Chantel came running in the kitchen thinking I was doing something to cause the smoke <laughs> detector to go off, and I was like, I was just heating up quiche, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry, and all the parents sorry, of, I was just heating up our, quiche. of our bride was worried and concerned so you know i took care of that and then i went to take the trash out and you warned me of this because you have properties on my street what there was a man laying behind my garbage can he terrified me i was not I just, expecting oh, I just, Debo. just joined hi chill room chill room, chill room. what's up hey and isaac What's shout out to Isaac? Chill Room. Shout out to Isaac. I see y'all. I Wakanavu. see y'all. Wakanavu. 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 What's up? Oh, hi. Wakanavu. Sorry, yeah. I just noticed that. Yeah. Sorry. So, shout out to them. So we just gave him some time and he left and hopefully I won't get surprised like that again. Hmm. I mean, it's a, if I was homeless, I would, I would chill out your property. It's pretty nice it, back it, there. It is pretty nice. It's pretty nice back there. <laughs> we have a... I have a property down the street, and there's a nice area that they've set up. Yeah. So um, I told Ames about it, so we just yeah, right. you got to keep an eye out because like, overnight, ah, there he is, yeah. they'll have a house. Huh. Right. Oh, well, sneaky little. thanks for the warning on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, did we check any new kava bars out this week? We did. Checked one out today, and it I is even heard an about oasis. this yet. So, yeah, sorry we didn't tell you about this yet. No, okay, I'm so excited. excited. I think we wanted to wait for the show. Just I think, <laughs> um, but we we actually went to uh, Avatar. Avatar. I guess they're, the slogan's Whatever you working. Whatever you gotta do to remember it. Avatar. Um, they were closed Sunday because they got the drum circle, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, cause a drum, if you haven't been to the drum circle on Treasure Island, you need it's to check it out. It's it's, in a, it's a reason to close your kava bar. But we checked back again today and was able to meet. Uh, ooh, oh, bad with names. Samir, Alina, and ha, Alina and Samir. If we're messing up your names, I'm sorry. But they gave us. We'll put their pictures up right here. Um, they showed us great hospitality. They brewed kava. Where's it at? Right then, it's on Fifty Fourth Avenue. Just between like 58th street and 62nd street in between um across the street from winn on, ah. on 54th Avenue, oh yeah, in okay City. so not the twisty tree old well, building yeah, no across, across the from street that. from okay. it yeah a little further down there's a place called brew burgers i don't know if you've ever been um it's in that same plaza. all right i'm not good with directions so it's over there by that one place <laughs> <laughs> that looks like an ice cream yeah, thing. Yeah, it, it, you walk in there, and I don't want to ruin the surprise. It is just, it's gorgeous. So it's an oasis. We actually talked with them today, and I 
we're gonna have the after party to the Kava Spills tour there. It oh. Might be a late night vibe. We're gonna bring in the DJ, uh, all the Crap. sound equipment, and we're gonna we're gonna do it big. So it's gonna be a good time to check out this bar, well, this Kava bar, and a good time to kind of mingle and chill with us and dance and you know. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited. Oh, hi, Taste the Real Cava. I'm Bula excited. to you too. Bula. Bula. All right, hey, let's cheers to uh, Taste of the Real Cava. We about to taste some real cava right here. <laughs> oh, oh Bula. Bula. What are we sipping on? Where's this cava uh, from? Kevin at the spot hooked us up let's with the go, cava Kevin, today. Let's go, Kevin, man. You're the best, And Kev. Barry made it. Barry makes amazing cava. Barry makes good cava. He doesn't drink cava, really, but he, started he, to. And he takes such pride in it, which he is does. so important. He does. Now, all right, that's a question. Yeah. How, both of y'all, how do you feel about people that brew cava? that don't drink it versus people that brew kava and drink it. Do you think it's a difference in the brewing or the kava itself if you don't drink it versus 100%. if you drink it? How so? They, they don't have the passion and love for it that you need to put into it. It's not It's not like baking cookies and you know, you can just yeah. do the recipe. Like, I feel like it really has to have. It has to have love and time. Yeah. All right. I you feel have you. to care about it. Yeah. yeah. You it's feel like, the same? It's like, I think it's like a pizza guy who doesn't eat pizza making pizza. You yeah. know, how good is it going to be if he doesn't like it? Yeah, I'm always, I'm always, uh, you know. Yeah, because they're definitely not tasting it, right? It's like somebody, you like can't. you said cooking with mushrooms that yeah. doesn't like mushrooms and they're not tasting it yeah. while they're cooking it so i think we're gonna make good. that uh let's do a kava spills commandment commandment number one okay i feel like if we the need to have commandment number one kava spills if the person brewing it does not drink it don't drink it don't drink it what well, cheers to that yeah Oh, oh Bula. Bula. you got to taste this stuff, people. You got to know, you know, what you're dealing with. You should feel it in your mouth. As soon as you take a sip, your tongue should be slightly numb. Everything should numb up. A little spicy. Yeah, you should feel it going earthy. down to your stomach. It's it's like it's the equivalent of having like a nice cup of coffee or something that's soothing. Rudy's calling live. Oh, he's messing up my live, uh -huh. Rudy. We're still Dang, going, Rudy. I told him I was on Watch live. Us, like Rudy. <laughs> he likes to call in. He should just hey, show up. I told him I'm going to be on live today. Oh, that's a perfect time to call. I wonder if somebody could show up here right now. Yeah. We'll probably be on for a few more minutes. Yeah, we'll be on for a little bit. If you know where I live, you can pull up if you want to. Pull up. I don't have a pool like table. Mr. Roger style, just knock on the door and we'll see who's there. We might let you in. So. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so. I mean, I can't wait any longer. I want to get on the music tip. Oh, so, boy. I've been hearing, not rumors, but reports of this J. Cole and Drake Dreamville concert. But I had the opportunity to watch it for the first time last night. I'm a bigger J. Cole fan, and I'm a bigger Drake fan. Man, Ooh. I... You're just now a bigger J. Cole fan? It's just big, just, I don't just... Come on now. I've seen J. Cole live. I haven't seen Drake live, but I've seen J. Cole live at a Rolling Loud. And this man was looking the audience members in the eyes during these lyrics. I mean, you could just feel this man connecting with people. So his craft, you could just tell he's very, he paid a lot of attention to his craft. His production's on, on a different level. He's you know, so humble and extremely humble. Though. Yeah, no sequins on his outfits. He's my number one for a reason. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 you're right. Did you see the performance? I saw some of it. I need to think? really sit down and watch it closely. Um, what I saw was awesome. Yeah. Uh, my first thought was, can Drake, you know, all the songs that he was singing, um, rapping at the show... Can he continue to make music like that with the cornrows? Oh, there's the question, Drake, with the cornrows. Because the cornrows look so good. Mm -hmm. He looks great. 
But yeah. he's not putting music out like Drake without the cornrows. Now, I feel like the only person that got away with the cornrows and could sing, to me, D'Angelo. <laughs> he was like the perfect percentage of thug and the perfect percentage <laughs> of like, you know, sexy R&B Pauls. Right. You know, he had both of them. He looked like, you know, he could take your girl, but he also looked like you could fight him too, and he would fight back. That's... I don't know. D'Angelo has to. I don't know. <laughs> who, who else can get away with cornrows <laughs> and sing? I'll wait. Um... Who has cornrows and can sing? Omarion. <laughs> who? <laughs> I said it. All right. <laughs> How much time we got left on the cam apps? Uh, like five minutes. All right. Or so. All right. Abs is like, I'm sitting on the couch with y'all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we can push it again, right? Uh, of course. Yeah. For okay. Gucci. For um, Gucci. Uh, you know, that's a qu- you're putting us on the spot. I, I don't know. Huh. Maybe I'm, that's a I'm question. I'm going to think about it. Sean Paul? Okay. Uh, dance hall, like but... Saying. For for y'all to take that long to to yeah. think about it is you know you've already proven my point already. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you already you know there you already proven my point. There was one live performance that I didn't really like so much in the Rolling Loud show or the Dreamville show. Which one? Glorilla. Oh, Glorilla. <laughs> Glorilla. I don't know. I'm a T E B E. Her voice. Live did not sound anything like what it is. Because the, there the is track. there is magic in that studio. <laughs> Coming from me, uh, you can take someone's voice and make them sound like Mariah Carey if you wanted to, with the right effects and everything. So when you see people live and it doesn't quite match it, I, I think know. that there was so much magic in that studio. It can't be replicated well, on stage live. Also, they're moving around most of the time, yeah. trying to get the crowd hype. Right. It's, yeah. it's that's hard. a lot it's it's to, to condition and be able to do. I'm it's not cardio. saying I could do it in any means, but, but you should sound good. You shouldn't sound like you're screaming at the top of your lungs. And but, some of them, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Some of them, I've heard, like, I know Usher, they train on treadmills where they run. And oh, they right, sing yeah, their to songs be able to dance and sing. And women yeah. do and it in keep, heels. Yeah, and keep running their... Running on the treadmill singing. Yeah, true. Yeah. Speaking of running in heels, this hello bee <laughs> is taking over my life. I know, oh. it's so crazy. It is taking over my life. I can't stop. The last one you oh, sent me, where, so the, where the person walked by... Yes. And he broke character for a second and then jumped right back into it. I wish the camera panned over to that pedestrian. Because, first of all, they were probably like, what is this doing in hills jumping over <laughs> fences? So, if you haven't checked out this, uh, I mean, uh, you're not going to okay. get this time in your life back. But, check out. it's What's the real profile? Um, I know it's hello. Bye. Yeah, boy, 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 yes, boy, a baddie, B O Y A B A D D I E. All right, on we'll put Instagram. it, we'll put it up, we'll put it up on the um thing. So we're gonna wait, take. I didn't get to tell you I'm what sorry? I think of Glorilla. Oh yeah, all right. I think that if a brand new song came out that nobody knows. And you closed your eyes and listened to it, you would say, Is this Megan the Stallion or is oh, this wow. Glorilla? Because oh, you think? Same I can see it. cadence, same sound, everything. I think Meg's voice is sexier. Have huh. you ever heard a Megan the Stallion song and tried to sing lyrics from one of her other songs? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. It always works. Hold that yeah, thought. Hold that thought. Wow, hold that. One wild. sec. Hold that. I go pee. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Sorry, I had to go pee. Where, where were we? <laughs> oh, I was just saying that Megan the Stallion and Glorilla sound the same. Yeah. Okay. I could see it. I don't. Glorilla you... doesn't sound like she looks. You know, if you see her, you would. Does Megan looks, the Stallion but... sound like she looks? Oh, uh, Megan Kinda. the Stallion is yeah. my girl crush. Really? Okay. I guess she's gorgeous. 
Yeah. I don't dislike her. I just, I'm probably going to get canceled for this, but. Ooh, let's get the most, mic canceled for this. I feel like most female rappers, not that they're not talented, but it's just all for shock. Yeah. Oh. Everything that they say, it's, it's just for raunchy. shock value. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know. I can see that. You feel like as a female artist, you have to compete with men or the or the hip hop that's already out there. You think that's why they're doing it? It's because they feel like that's the only way they can compete. Like if I'm if I'm no, on the charts with I, Twenty One Savage, I must say some gangsta shit, or they're not going to take me serious. Mm-hmm. Or you know, because the, not... the, the pioneers before, like Lil Kim. Uh, Sexy, you know, mm-hmm. and, and got a little bit of gangster to it, so that blueprint was kind of there. So it's, you know, like the Doja Cats now are, I feel like, are it just, just gets evolving. attention. They're using their power as a woman to say things yeah. that get attention. So it is what it is. Uh, I also find a lot of the times that female comedians are the same way. Oh, yeah. so you know, I, I. I think a woman could rap, you know, about real stuff and it actually be interesting. I don't yeah. think they have to do that. If they right. have the talent to rap, yeah. they could rap. Huh. What do you think, which kava do you think Lil' Kim would drink? Uh. Mind, body, or 50-50? Uh-uh. Extract. <laughs> Extract. <laughs> That's a good answer. What about you, Sloan? What do you think uh, Lil' Kim is sipping on? I don't know. I'm going to have to go with Ames' answer because <laughs> that's the best one. Thanks, Jack. Well, shout um, out little Kim. But wait, I want to say this reminds me talking about Meg the Stallion. What up, Katie? What up, Katie? What up? Talking about Meg the Stallion mm-hmm. reminded me that you and Nick, sack boy. <laughs> Got back oh in the yeah! Shout out to Nick. Yeah, we back in the studio. Um, the studio I was recording at. Shout out to Envision R.I.P. That was a wonderful place. It was open for years. A lot of good people I met in there. Anyway, that's where I recorded Kava Chronicles, and um, landlord decided to double the rent on them. They can't afford it, so that's a terrible landlord. By the way, I hate it because it was it served so good for the community but the way where they are in downtown it's only a matter of time before they turn it into condos but you know so uh i had to take a long time off i wanted to build my own studio so in the process of doing that but uh shout out to my friend kevin my man (laughs) built me a studio at his crib and we've been going to record there and it's beautiful not kevin from the spot not kevin from the spot i got a lot of kevin's (laughs) Uh, Kevin and Bree, shout out to Kevin and Bree for opening their homes. Every time we come through, so sweet. providing kava, kratom, snacks, snacks, food, <laughs> entrees, just so we can have a creative space to go to and record. And uh, just stay tuned. We got we're gonna drop something soon. But um, Adventures of Sackboy and LB2, we've got that going on. So yeah, we're gonna be vibing. Excited. Gonna be vibing. What you googling? I have you, something I want to tell you, Googling but I there. lost it. Always Googling. So give me a second. I saw something today. Um, oh, here we go. Kanye West. Oh. Okay. BBC documentary promised to uncover revelations about the rap icon. Something we don't know already? Mm-hmm. Yes. So it sounds um, very interesting. It doesn't have anything about it actually being available in America yet. Uh-huh. Um, but various networks in Australia, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, and Finland have already secured rights to the documentary. So who is can- who is canceled? I thought he was canceled. He ain't canceled. Apparently not in you can't cancel Europe. Him. No, I man, I'm just this whole canceling culture. Does I mean it does should it be exist? canceled? If you would think he would be canceled by now, right? But there's still value. I mean, Adidas is still reportedly sitting on millions of dollars of worth of yay inventory that they can't move morally. You know, so. It's a shame. 
You know, it's just. Well, you know. this says uh, the producer. Shout out to Yang, man. <laughs> the producer for this documentary also, um, he was the journalist and producer for mm-hmm. the documentary um, about Britney Spears' conservatorship. Oh, I see that. So. One. I think it's going to be really great um, and get into a lot of uh, stuff that we don't know. And Did you watch the last Kanye says, documentary? I think so. Did you? So the Genius? Good, yeah. Of Ye, I think oh, it is. no, no, no. no I didn't finish it yet. Oh, you, no. need, you must watch oh, it's it. it's so good. It's a good. It's from Just the perspective of him. one of his uh, childhood friends. So the footage goes back. And seeing him as a kid, he's so confident. Like, he knows, the same. He right. knows exactly who he's going to well, be. He predicted it. He almost manifested it, you know? So, yeah, if you haven't seen it, check out the... Uh, if you're a Yay fan and you ain't on the cancel bandwagon, go check uh, out the documentary. Or I'm check the biggest Yay fan or on the Kavis Bills. Number, one, number two. two. Yeah. Number two. I think mine was three. Yours. Number four for Lawrence. I mean, Yay is number four. It was. We talk about one surprising. list. It was a vibe. It was a vibe for the day. Yeah, Yay. I bet if you at like if you gave your list right now, it would be completely different. Yours probably, probably. changes every day or twice a day. I don't even remember what was on the initial list. I just remember I got a lot of flack for Yay being four. <laughs> it was. Surprising. But I had to make room for some artists y'all may not have known. So. True. It's good to give up. But most importantly, Ye will always be on my top ten list no matter what number right. it is. He's going right. to be on that list. So, Sloan, what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say um, the documentary will have an eight-part podcast that follows it. Oh. So, speaking of be big. Speaking of podcasts, for this Kava Spills Kava Tour, mm-hmm. I didn't mention that we're going to be live. So if you want to have an opportunity, I know a lot of my friends have been hitting me up saying, when you going to have me on the show? When you going to have me on the show? Well, there's an opportunity for you to come. So we're going to do a live stream from the bus and then a live stream from all of the Kava bars we go to. So just wanted to add that in. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's going to be awesome. What, um, what well, so there's their disclaimer. You will be put on the internet if you yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> with the purchase of a ticket, you will be signing a consent to be on a episode of Kava, Kava, Kava Spills Podcast, which <laughs> might not be the worst thing in the world because 8,700 8, views so far. Wow, huh. that's a lot. I'm just saying awesome. we might we might have a party when we hit 10K, but like we appreciate y'all supporting it, but it's, it's going somewhere. It I'm liking it. Um, speaking of going somewhere, you can't go somewhere without feet. True. And you really can't Do walk out here without no shoes on. Do. Most Who's importantly, what shoes you got on depends on where you're going. So, the theme tonight. where are we going? I see I see a pattern here, an uh, unplanned pattern. Let's start from... Truly, truly not planned. We even have a group chat, still didn't plan it. No. What are we wearing? What are we rocking on the feet? Start with you, Ames. Okay. I have my Shelto Adidas Superstars. They make no regular ones. No, they have the yellowed sole. Mm-hmm. They have little charms on them, including an ice cream cone, because we know I love ice cream. You got a little rose over a here. A rose, a peace sign. Shoelace tips. I feel in the shoelace tips. Yeah, got a little. Yep, yeah, little they pretty. Can't see oh. Them. oh, oh, yeah. They, oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> It's hard to see. Lawrence will put a picture up when yeah, I'll he put does a picture the up. editing. Yeah, here's, um, a, here's a picture right here for them. you. They're comfy. Uh, always got his balls on. Yep. Um, what's Amanda rocking tonight? I have on my favorite Nizza. 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 Is it Nizza? No, yeah, it's Nizza. Nizza. $2,600 shoes. Nizza, that Nizza. I paid sixteen dollars. Oh, I am just I love this what a feeling! What a feeling to <laughs> Google what you have and then be like, and then refresh and refresh. Oh, that is that is. That's happened probably once, once to me, and it was after I wore them to play basketball because I didn't have my shoes, so I decided to put on these Jordan thirteens or nines. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble for getting this wrong. Oh, wow. My dream at do it's are nines. <laughs> anyway, I didn't have my basketball shoes, so I balled in them, went home, and I'm like, let me see what these are worth. Yeah, they tripled. So that was another feeling. I'm like, oh. So that ooh. was the last time you played basketball in them? Nope. 
Oh. I mean, once you, I mean, once you ball on them, it's a, <laughs> it, it's, it ain't the same. They still fresh though, but they're I so can't. nice. You've worn them on the show. I want to say. No, I don't rock no? them. No. Uh -uh. No. Uh. Maybe I not. should. Well, I've worn these on the show before, but I really, since we had this little cold snap out yeah. of nowhere, I thought we were done with the cold weather. I'm digging it, kind of. Back to shoes. Oh, yeah. What are you ADD. wearing? ADD, like? you know, we're going to keep with the Adidas thing that we got going on. Ah. And we're going to hit the Ultra Boost, you know, not just the regular Degler. This ain't no middle of them all. Uh, we got yeah, the I'm Ultra right Boost now. DNA. New Year's something? New Year Chinese New Year's. We got the we tiger. got the orchid. We got the orchid on the side. We got the tiger. I don't know if you've had if you own a pair of boosts, but the most comfortable shoes out are Ultra Boosts. Hands down. Hands down. Not so, really for the wider foot person. Probably not. Person. And we don't lace you don't lace a ultra boost, please. Do not lace your ultra boost. So no no. I shouldn't be giving you the secret, but do not lace your your. Why is your, that, Lawrence? Your ultra boots should look like this. Just slide them I on. Lace mine. You lace your ultra boots? It's all right. Why? Why wouldn't you lace them? Is it because you don't need to? Because the tongue is not sure. loose. It's just sure. already. Sure. No, I saw I saw Kanye do it on a picture. So it was <laughs> after that it was law. I don't really know why I did it, but I'm doing. You know, wow. so yeah, that's wow. that's how we rocking. And I'm serious about giving away a pair of shoes on this Kava tour. Randy, yeah. if you want to join in with me and throw in a pair of shoes, you can. You don't pair have to. And you don't have to do the Travis Scott because <laughs> I want them. But you know, we throw something in. So we're gonna have some. We might do a raffle for this Kava tour. And we're definitely gonna give some prizes. We it's might our, do a couple it's our first. Raffles. It's, it's, it's our first one, so we're probably gonna go overboard. You know, you, your first one, you kind of go overboard, and then you kind of scale it back later. So this is the one you would want to go to, because you're definitely going to try to hit it out of the park. you got to get your tickets, though. We're not holding tickets. Yeah. We have a lot of friends. We want everybody to come, but there is limited space. It's a mm -hmm. party bus. Um, That's true. Provided by Party Shuttle. Party Shout out Party Shuttle. Good Talk about it. mine. Um, yeah, they're going to be offering the transportation services. Yep. And hopefully you will be booking your transportation needs with them in the meantime. Yeah, if, you're, if, you, if you can make the tour because it sells out, you can have another opportunity to be on this party bus if you get in contact with the people that are yeah. providing it. So we'll put their link and stuff <laughs> up there. But they can still come on the Kava Crawl if they don't make it on the bus. Yes. Of course. We right? Will of closer course. closer to the date, not now. I know that some things we need to keep a secret. Yeah. Um, we'll release our stops and the times, and then people who haven't been able to get on the, the tour yeah. can meet us along the way. Um, go. The good thing about kava is is you can drink and, and drive with kava. It's yeah. not alcohol. Do it all the time. Do it all the time and cheers to that. Yeah. All is the it that time. time. What time is it? Mm. Shows up. Oh, I yeah. want to shout out to um, Fresh Fits and Fade. Okay, you got a fade over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> today uh -huh, nice okay, you um, that up. no because it was a little chilly out i wore my favorite find from there uh, it's my cute. baby milo sweater um and i just sweater. saw that they posted um the last couple days they've been posting on instagram they've got a lot of shoes right now oh wow and a lot of new um merchandise where is it so, again it's on Central. It's just down from Curated Heat. Like, okay. I usually walk from Curated Heat to there. All right. Across the street, though. Yes, on okay. the other side. Um, at least a block. Yeah. If, if not two, but no more than two. I think it's 25th, 26th. I need to go to one of these shops. I need to do for a pair of shoes. Right. Do for a pair of shoes, man. It's been... Well, your long. birthday's coming. Birthday's also coming in May, so <laughs> May's gonna be a, a good month. Yes. I just got a pair of shoes in the mail today. You really? did? Oh, uh, Hubby got them for me. Really? Yeah. Are they for your birthday? No. They're, they're just because? They're just because. Ooh, when are we you actually got shoes? matching. Ooh. Um, matching, huh? You should wear them. Are y'all one of those? Which wear. he's totally not the, I was gonna say, the, the matching, matching type. We're not matching either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Who not? We we're tried. We're totally not Maggie. He says that we're not. I'll take some but that, he'll always ask me what I'm wearing so he doesn't clash with me. Right. You know, you we always it. try to. You gotta coordinate. Well, it's so a, it's a you art guys will to see it. the shoes soon. It's an art to it. You wanna, you wanna like match. You wanna match your swag with your partner, but the you don't wanna look like a uniform. Y'all don't wanna look like y'all on the right. same team. Right, right, but right. Y'all wanna like y'all cheering for like the same team. Like you're meant to be together. Yeah, you know, no matching like. We coach the opposite. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> this wasn't even planned. So <laughs> you act like this was planned. It wasn't. This is just like. Adidas was just all day I dream about. Uh, stripes over checks. Stripes Jack. over checks. Stripes over checks, That's huh? That's what we like. All right. All right. All right. Shout out. So anything else? What do we leave out? Well, there's some shout outs. Who, we, um, who made a mark on us this week? Um, oh, it was really nice to see Brandon and Darian oh. last week. Oh, they showed up like a few minutes after, yeah. after we were ended. done. Yeah. Yeah. And they could have been our surprise pop. Next yeah. time, Brandon, just pull up. Yeah, well, Brandon. I know you do, but you were just Flash, a you day late here? and the dollar sure look out, see if he's outside. <laughs> nah. I see him. I nah. see him. Yeah, shout out to Brandon, Darian. Um, Barry who, uh, for making this kava. Barry for making this kava. Barry for putting the love into the kava, not shout just making it. Shout out to Isaac. I don't know why. I just Isaac, like shouting Isaac out every time, Isaac. man. He's just a sweetheart. Shout out he my boy Lance. Ran kid. into you today. Been a long time. No Lance. We saw him yesterday. That was yesterday? Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> Saw him, him recently. Again. Kavatar, I guess. New Kavatar, Kavatar was Kavatar good. Place. What else? What else? Um, Man, uh, we oh, we got to say hey to Donovan because he's great from the chill room. Oh, chill room. Donovan, always showing love. Um, We talked about my AZ trip, right? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. we did. We went live yeah, last AZ. time. Ah. I think we covered yeah. everything. Party bus um, people. Shout party out bus people, people we shot out. Um, once again, people, if you want to be a Kava sponsor and yes, sponsor please. us an episode of some Kava, we'll shout y'all out too. Um, it's only good Kava. Package. We only drink good Kava. <laughs> we have a new, cool new camera and we could do some really cool so things. So we're filming on the, hey, we're getting bigger. We're filming on a different camera. We, we actually got, we got, right we got now. three cameras, <laughs> three cameras going right now. So we're getting bigger. We're just trying to give y'all good content. We're learning as we go. So bear with us. Um, it's only going to get better. Most important thing is we're having fun. and We want you to have fun, we too. We want y'all right? to have fun, too. This is a show that we want y'all to be engaged with, too. So if you have any ideas or uh, suggestions on who we should talk to or what we should do or where we should go, just leave them in our comment section or message us. If you want tickets to this thing, send us a message on Instagram. One of these two <laughs> will get back to you. Yes, I'll take care of it. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Wayward Walls, right? We really oh, want to tell your story. Right. Wayward, we if wanna... you're listening, my man. Sorry. Was, no, no, no. You're good. Go, you go, go, go. If you're listening, my man. Hey, come, come, come. Just have a conversation. We'll come sit down and we'll talk. You are a uh, amazing human being. The only reason I went to the factory is because I saw pictures of your space. Yeah, yeah. And to, be, you were the and to be honest <laughs> with you, for the New Year's party, I only went to the Wayward Walls thing. I didn't even think there was any other exhibit. Nope, we, and then we I went back again, and there was other the stuff. Factory. So Wayward Walls, I mean, it, your space was magnificent. I wanted to do an event there, but, Ooh, you know. I'm channeling my Wayward Walls. Look. So <laughs> Wayward Walls, if you're watching, hey, come on the show. We would love to sat, sit down and kick it with you and and. and Explore some of this lovely art that you do and, um, you know, hear your story, man. Um, I think we have a All lot right. of people that we want to sit down and talk to in the community. If you have any ideas of who y'all want to talk to or who we should talk to, let us know. But, yeah, we're going to make this local and we're going to highlight some people that have been in the community for a while that are connected to Kava mm -hmm. and art and fashion. We got so. this. We got to get going because we are... Alexa. Are... Oh. Alexa, play Kava Spills by LB2. Uh, uh, let see, me every time. Can you say that again? Play Kava Spills by LB2. All right. Kava Spills. It just needs a woman's voice. Oh. <laughs> Abby, turn up. Can you turn it up? Hey, Alexa. Turn up to the max. It's the max. 
Alexa, turn up 75%. All right. All right. That's it. All right, guys. Kava Spills episode. Oh, eight. eight. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh eight. Hold on. Y'all got somewhere to be? All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you next week. Check our Insta, social, and all that good stuff. And... Oh, oh boy. Gobble spills out. Keep it rolling, Abby. We gotta do our exit.